Good morning, everybody, and this is the DAX setups for today. So we are back from our travels, and uh, looks like we missed a, a fairly decent move last week. Uh, for me at the moment, it's looking a little bit tired, but uh, trend is up. There's no two ways about that at all time highs. Uh, nothing really to write home about there. The only thing it is, when I look at this on the weekly, look at the oscillators, they are grouped to the upside. And then you have what looks like an exhaustion bar that's formed last week. Um, but, you know, there is structure below, albeit quite far below. And that was the one thing that I'd be concerned about. Um, and what we have here is inside bar, engulfing bar. Um, it's actually a mess. So I think you'd rather look at that as a, a range. So move up, consolidation, move up, consolidation, what's next, move up. So that's essentially where my mind is at the moment. And uh, I'm a bit reluctant to be jumping in in the sideways motion that we're seeing on the three hour, specifically three hour. Because remember, the longer this goes sideways, the less probability of it is continuing to the upside. And at the moment, we are 21 bars. So... For me, 20 bars is the limit of a consolidation range. Uh, it does break out. There's 22 bars on a breakout, but um, I just find that the longer it goes sideways, so anything more than 20 bars, then it becomes a coin toss, a sort of a 50-50. And then you need to just look at the much lower levels to see what's going on. Anyway, um, one thing it is certain is that the oscillators are pointing down the have crossed over and they are have separated so not to read too much into that right now but i would put in this very weak level here at 17376 it's basically this attempt at a range bar here um, which i'm paying attention to and then you can Pull in the previous bars high. Okay, because if you look now to the right, you'll see it's kind of the area that we are paying attention to for an opportunity to find a base. Now, looking at the one hour of the past two days, um, so that's Friday and Monday, you can see oscillators group the downside, separated, one strong bar up before coming back. So when the oscillators are sort of swinging like this and price is swinging it's just an indication that you are ranging this is the bottom of my range at a 1739 uh, sorry 17394 and 17376 that is the bottom of the range look at the oscillator that group to the downside uh, which is indicating that we need to be paying attention to what's going on in the space uh, i'm not entirely convinced on the hour of anything right there and yeah, drilling down to the 15 minute, there was opportunities for a move to the upside. It's basically, I'll put this level in so you can see it. Uh, see the range bar that was formed early in the trading session, uh, pre-market basically. But there's your tweezer bottom. Um, what's that? was five or six up or seven so that was before the market opened um, but that was definitely your indication yesterday that there was something to the upside kind of fizzled out and uh, the minute you saw this gap up and there's still a gap below you knew that it was going to fizzle out so for me at the moment uh, there is a crossover of the moving averages we are below the 150 EMA so you know you could argue for a short and it would be off a rejection of 17409, but I suspect that we are trying to defend 1700, so I'm not too keen on jumping into any shorts at the moment. This uh, 17400 is definitely an area that's trying to be defended, and the bottom of this range is 17367. So for all intents and purposes, break and retest of that, then 
I would be interested in looking for a move to the downside, which would probably be measured moves. Um, so what I mean by that is you'll see a move, well, something that's simple happening right now. Here's your down move from the rejection area in equal, a move equal to the height of the first down move. So, but I'm not convinced. So I'm really not convinced that this is a top and I'm also not convinced that we're going to drop. It would be nice to see us uh, just regroup lower down somewhere around 17,200. Uh, that to me, let's get to the three hour. That's the most logical next area of support, um, 17,200. And that would uh, be a really, really healthy setup. But stranger things have happened, so I wouldn't write too much into that. This could be an inside bar attempt here at the structure where we are. Uh, and this is forming to be a fairly strong level of support. And that is 17,394, 17,384, 17,376. So that's um, kind of my view. I think I'm going to be sitting on, on the sides until I see something decent, which is either going to be a break of this bigger range to the downside or a break of the range to the upside. But um, now where we are now, I'm not 100% sure I want to be chasing anything. There is an outside chance here at 17,409. Um, you know, just for a, a rejection, but I think you're going to be held up by these three levels to downside. Drop below these three levels to downside, come back and reject them, then there is definitely a short on offer. And I just want to get, you'll be ambushed, so I would just look at that. So you're going to be ambushed somewhere around 17232. Uh, ultimate goal would be 17200 but 17232 is kind of the area that I think I would take profit okay anyway that's kind of me for today I hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now